So first of all, I will do a quick introduction about who we are, huh? I am a group of companies. And from there, I'll let you understand more about our corporations and at the end, we will go into our topic for today, which is accelerate product design for industrial machinery. First of all, about IME Group or company, we have to share my visions and mission to all of you is that we, uh, the visions of IME Group or company is to be the best in class design and manufacturing solution provider. And our mission is to provide innovative design and manufacturing solutions and service to ensure our industries and educational institutes fulfill their design and manufacturing needs faster, better, and in a more cost-effective manner. Talking about our core value, this is what we practice here in IME Group Company. We practice professionalism to serve all and one with confidence, commitment, and concentration. And the one that we serve, of course, is you, our customer. We also practice innovations, where we practice creative thinking, we practice doing now, and ask for it. And using webinar is one of the way that um, we would like to use as one of our innovation way to communicate with customers like you, where sometimes you have the difficulty to travel from your company or you feel that the distance is an issue. Therefore, we bring our solution to you by using webinar. And last but not least, we would like to achieve excellence because we want to be the excellence people. We are having excellent products and of course we treasure you as our excellence customer. So a form of our commitment we would like to share with you is that we would like to identify your needs through these uh, webinars and to provide the best solutions in your product lifecycle management. And of course through this webinar and the understanding of uh, your needs in your industrial, uh, industrial needs we want to help you to achieve a sustainable and competitive advantage and by bringing the right pieces to get the job done. And I believe through this webinar, you will see there's a few great solutions might be the right pieces to suit into your industrial needs. So our expertise, 360 solutions from IMI Group from company. First of all, we start with product design and development solutions and our webinar today will be mainly covered in this area. And then we have engineering services. By having 33 years of industrial experience that we, that we gathered, so I believe we have the strength to provide the right engineering services to a customer like you. Other than that, we also bring in technologies such as scanning and inspections. For example, if in front of you have any curved model or mouse, yeah, mouse, let's say the form or the body of the mouse we would like to recapture and we have the right scanning and inspection tools where you can actually something we call copycats to copy the shape and to use it for in your 3D for modifications. Okay. Other than that, we also bring in the state-of-the-art rapid prototyping technology. We've seen this a lot in uh, Iron Man, in those uh, science fiction movies. But now, this kind of technology is no longer something that we cannot achieve. Rapid prototyping is a form of technology where the design that you did in 3D, you can actually print, 3D print it out according to one-to-one -one skill. And you can use it for fit, form, and functions. We have this technology and of course for this area you are always encouraged to come and visit our showroom where you can see how this machine in action. And last but not least e-manufacturing solutions. We developed our own products where it helps manufacturers to optimize and maximize their production lines by using uh, solutions called e-manufacturing solutions. And this is our expertise of 360 solutions that can provide a total solution to all our customers. So for today, 
our main focus will be on a topic called Accelerate Product Design for Industrial Machinery and these presentations will be conducted by our Senior Application Engineer, Ken Fo, and it's brought to you by IME Technology. We are the authorized reseller for SOLIDWORKS and the longest serving and a reseller in Malaysia. So our agenda for today is that first of all, we will talk about the overall view of this industry, which is an industrial machinery, mainly industrial machinery, overview, and also the current trend. So if any of you here are bosses or management people, it will be something very good for you to understand more about the trend because most of the information here was given based on data and statistics. Next, we will talk about some solutions offered by SOLIDWORKS and its capabilities. We are just not focused on only the 3D design CAD software, but we are talking about a total solution from SOLIDWORKS corporations. At the end, as I summarize it, and we will go into a Q&A session. So for you, if you have any questions you would like to ask, Feel free to write it down and at the end of the uh, sharing, you are feel free to ask and I will do my best to answer most of your questions. So far, uh, I hope my voice is clear enough for all of you. If you have any concerns or you are facing a technical difficulty, again, feel free to drop into the chat room and let me know. Okay. With this, Okay. We shall jump into the overview and trend brought to you by our Sydney Application Engineer. Let us talk about the overview and trend. There are total five areas or the five important concerns that industrial equipments should look into. First, modular design, complex products, mechatronics, customized products, and cost reductions. Let's just talk about the modular design first. Modular design, what is mean modular? It means that a design shouldn't be just one way. It could be have a different kind of alternative. From the picture you can see, it's similar parts, but if you put it into a different way, it could be a new design. So therefore, a designer or a group of engineers in a company should able to seamless access to the libraries, which is their existing design, for the new products and it also should have a good platform to let them to create multiple versions of design and save into the company's database and make sure everyone connect to the engineering data are all real time it means the latest revisions and write data to them how about complex products as current competitive is getting higher, customer requirements also higher, we need to make sure our products is innovative and meet the customer requirements. Normally, a machine design or industry equipment in, involve a lot of components and parts. It could be 1,000, 5,000 or even more. Last assembly design is very hard to be done in just 2D. So 3D design is a, could be the e solutions to help you to make sure your things easy to see, easy to virtualize without any imaginations. After we design the build of materials, how many parts, the basic informations of the entire design should be also need to be synchronized to the drawing as well for the downstream activities such as it passed to the productions, we pass it to the purchasing for purchase raw material and so on. But how can we make sure the accurate data can come from the engineering department? We will discuss on that. We also want to make sure the design or the equipment that we design are performable or we could say it is predictable whether it moves statics or moving dynamics. Mechatronics. The design for equipment is not only mechanicals, but mostly they are come and ex execute or co 
controlled by electrical as well. So therefore, such a big assemblies for these equipment, the sequencing of movings of the parts, the logic movement trajectories, the timing of movement, the how what is the sizes of actuators that we need to use, the motor size and the force that we want, the torque. We need to calculate as accurate as possible in order to make sure the cost they were putting on the machine design is cost effective enough. We need to understand customer needs and design for them. Customer always have a lot of requirements during the RFQ process. We need to customize the machines for them as we should able to use the existing platforms or the design data to help us to produce the new products with innovative. Not only that, the manufacturing or the production for required to fulfill the needs from the engineering as well, but they also need to custom build the elements to fit what you have been designed for your customers. Last but not least, cost reductions is also very important as our profit margins are getting tight due to the global competitions. Therefore, savings the cost or control the cost is very important. But start from where? As design is the first stage. Therefore, the design productivity and predict abilities are the most important thing that we need to start to control. By leveraging the existing design for the new projects to keep the cost and minimize the time for the designer to rework on the drawings and design again. And definitely, if you have a better process to make sure the design publish your the design with the technical documentations, reduce the times for prototyping are all the things that you should do or you look into in order to doing the cost reductions. As so overall, this is the macro critical business issue that faced by the industry equipment and machinery designs. The trend is right now getting more modular machines with the com global competitions, increasing the products complexities, and we want to make sure it's reliable. Machine are more become electronics that combine of the knowledge of mechatronics. More design customizations is needed and we want to fast to deliver to the customers. Reduce cost this is a must and at the same time we need to fulfill the needs of the customer and current design are more oriented by them. But we want to make sure the company should put in more innovations and innovative into the de product design as well for the equipment. Let's just have a look on this video. SOLIDWORKS having the capability to do machine and industrial equipment as on screen and this is all our customers design with thousands of parts and components inside it. They can cover sheet metals, solid modeling, workman design for structurals and pipings as well. Let's have a look on the demonstrations video here. So this is the uh, models that they require to put in a motor here. But somehow or other, if let's say we don't have any design before, we can in fact go to the 3D content central that provided by SOLIDWORKS. You can easily to download them. Just drag and drop into the assemblies to complete your designs. If you are unable to find any similar parts from the website, you can also create your own design libraries or using the toolbox that have it in SOLIDWORKS Professionals modules. What is SOLIDWORKS toolbox? You can find it on the right hand side here. Go to the toolbox and you can find different standards 
and the two toolbox such as the bolts and nuts, washers, keys, nuts, o-rings, pins and so on. What's so special about this toolbox is not only you, you having the 3D model here, but you can also use some special features which is called Smart Fasteners in SOLIDWORKS. When you enable these features, you can able to just click on the reference faces to recognize it as putting in a fasteners. By add on it, SOLIDWORKS can able to detect it and giving you the suggestion of putting what kind of fasteners. Not only that, you also can put on some top stack which covers nuts, washers as well. You can just choose from the list. Let's just put a plan washer here and we go for the cross section and have a look. So this here you are. By using smart fastener, you don't require to do any matings, but the system will help you to do it automatically. You're looking for a design library. In fact, you can design or doing the 3D models by yourself. You can save into the design libraries, which is easy to access by everyone. Just go to the library box, click, drag and drop again to assemble your design. So it's pretty simple and easy to use where we want to promote the design reuse purposes. Besides talking about the assemblies, how can we use the CAD libraries for design? We also re require to produce drawings all the times. So let's have a look on the drawings in SOLIDWORKS and additional functions in the drawings. To produce a drawing is easy by just drag and drop, roll your models or uh, your mouse to another places to place your drawing views. It's exactly the same in the assemblies. Whenever you do any changes, you will update automatically on your drawing as well. So you can easily to take out all the dimensions that you put it into the assemblies. Not only that, we can also insert the build of materials. It's automatic calculate from your design using the auto balance to identify them in the drawings. Apart from that, SOLIDWORKS also having some additional functions like design checker for check for your standards, whether it's okay, whole alignment checking to see whether the holes that you put on is okay and design for manufacturing as well. After cover the CAT's drawings, let us talk about a little bit on the simulation or analysis. If you have a tools that can able to integrate with your CAT, how good it is. So after you doing the design in SOLIDWORKS, whether we can do an analysis in the interface of SOLIDWORKS? The answer is yes. But what kind of analysis is more preferred in the industry equipment? So normally we will look into the interference of the parts. So when the time is actually a moving or dynamics. So we having the capability to do motion analysis at, at the same time we can check interference over time. Not only that, we can also insert the motors and actuators in the motion analysis to define the forces that you require. The system also enables us to do event-based simulations to check on the process sequence of movings of the components to make sure it's comply to the PLC uh, movements of our design and is good for presentation purpose as well. SOLIDWORKS is not only able to do motion analysis, but it also enables us to do the stress analysis as well. Structure design is very crucial and important in a equipment's design. So we need to check on stress, and at the same time, we are able to do the design optimizations to let the system to do iterations of simulation to let us know which is the best part can be used. 
After we cover the CATs, drawings, analysis, but how can we make sure all this design can be used across the departments and also the peoples could be connected? SOLIDWORKS introduced a system is called EPDM that enables you to do this file management system. You can access with your username and password, make sure that you're having the correct permissions, access to the folder to do the file management. As you can see, you have different people to doing the project and design, which giving you a good platform. You're having a good previews and you can doing checkings without a cat as well. It also able to doing management for other kind of cat file uh, other kind kind of format documents such as DWGs, Excel, PDF. You also having a data card to store information to build the data base of your company for find back the file easily. It's also good for 3D CAT management whereby you can find back the files referencing compared to just normal window explorers. Let's have a look in the SOLIDWORKS. Sometimes you want to find back a file is very hard with a long list of files in the window explorers. But with SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM, we can just find back the file using different kind of criteria. For example, we can use who is accessing the file right now, whether the file approved or not, and even you can key in some keywords to just find back the file and insert into the components. You leverage all the data in a design libraries. It also integrated with the interface of SOLIDWORKS whereby you can just manage your SOLIDWORKS file within the inter uh, integrated user interface. SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM is not only doing the file management, at the same time you can help your engineer to find the files much faster without having the worry of the file being overwrite and missing. You can track the revision and use it as a revision control management. You can approve your file at anywhere but not only just in front of your desk. And we want to make sure the data is connected to all the peoples. Next, let's talk about the communications. How can we enable to communicate the manufacturing and the engineering intent easily? SOLIDWORKS introduced SOLIDWORKS Composers for Communications. It is a software to enable the technical writers of the engineers to produce the technical documentation such as manuals, in assembly instructions earlier compared to just wait for the design to be complete. Let us see the videos. SOLIDWORKS Composer is just like SOLIDWORKS. It can read in the SOLIDWORKS data and all kind of 3D cats. You can just produce the assembly instructions by just drag and drop the parts and put it in the assembly path, arrows and nodes by using some special tools in the software. To make the people much more easier to understand the entire design intent. I will share with you some customer samples that using SOLIDWORKS Composers. On screen right now is a manual that generated by my customer before using SOLIDWORKS Composers. It giving them a hard time for this because they require to wake the design to be complete first in SOLIDWORKS and they need to reproduce the images on the left hand side by another people. They also require to type in the build of material in the Microsoft Office file from time to time. How about this? This is generated by using SOLIDWORKS Composers with stunning images and the build of material is also automatic generated based on the information from the CAD. We introduce leverage using back or record is reuse the design data that you have. There's no required to waste so much of time on your technical documentations. How about other examples? This company normally they will using 
photographers as uh, maybe you are the one of the photographers in your company as well that we take a lot of photos of assembly instructions we do wings photo grabbings shootings and then we need to do photo uh, post processings that put in arrows notes and then we only can produce and put it into our doc word documents but if let's say I want ask you a question what if there is a design changes in these assemblies are you going to reproduce all the images by taking the photo back again it could be the answer is not but how about using soil composers by these companies they're having a better way of producing the, the work instructions they're also putting a nice notes and labelings on each of the parts and components and giving the right corrections and how to assemble the things with the arrows in Malaysia we have dif we have normally hire a lot of foreigners as our uh, labels for productions the language to be used is sometimes very hard to communicate with them by using pictures is much more easier compared to use wordings therefore i can say that solidwork is definitely a good tool by having composer part partner together for the post processing or communicate with the other parties or maybe your productions flow so we have covers four areas from design publish simulate and manage that using solidworks solidworks composer simulation and enterprise pdm solidworks is the best platform for you to kickstart your design process as it is a powerful cat tools that able to manage complex design that can cover the sheet metals development structure design solid modelings and drawings it also having the capabilities to store in the libraries for you to easy access them after design or during the design process we already can start to doing the publishing works by using solidwork composers read in the 3d cat data and produce the process of assemblies and your product manual as well and therefore the time to market will be shortened not only that we want to make sure our design is usable and perform with reliability we want our customers come back to us for business simulation is the way to help you to save cost and make sure your product is quality by having stress analysis motion analysis and event based analysis by using SOLIDWORKS simulations it definitely can help you in these areas from design, publish and simulate you will produce a lot of product data and information to support this process you will also having different documents need to be managed as well having enterprise PDM in your companies is not only to make sure your data is secure correct revisions being used and this is the best database to manage your intellectual properties to make sure people work effective before I'm going to end my presentation for today I'm going to share with you a Malaysia case study called Bias Bureau Mills. On screen right now, it's showing the equipment the design by this company using SOLIDWORKS. And this is the real products that are manufactured by them. We're doing a case study with them and ask them why you choose SOLIDWORKS and IME. It is because they say they want to be competitive enough compared to the competitors. SOLIDWORKS give them the best solutions for design by using 3Ds and automatic update to the drawings that almost go for paperless. They save a lot of cost for product typings because everything that design in SOLIDWORKS 
is real. That even though I win a lot of business through the stunning presentations, that have the solid for W360 with them to do the real view rendering as well. It looks very sticks and giving the customer confidence in their design. They save a lot of cost because all their libraries are put into the libraries folders to shorten the time for the engineer to find back the file and recreating the parts. They do also using the analysis to doing the simulations on the projects before they go for the productions, which allows the productions team to do the right things. It's easy to collaborate with their productions and customers as Solid is giving the best platform for them to win business. Alright guys, so um, that's the sharing from our senior applications engineers. So now I shall open this uh, webinar for Q&A sessions. You can always feel free to jump to our chat room over here. And if you have any questions, just put out your questions here in the chat room or in the question tab. Okay? Question tabs allow you to put in a question as well. So feel free to ask. We have about um, three minutes for Q and A. Meanwhile, while we are waiting for questions, um, just share with you some common questions that customer asked previously in our another webinar that we held uh, end of last year. One of the common questions they asked is about. The current 2D CAD software. I mean, uh, as I know, most of you here have AutoCAD drawing. Okay, yeah, most of you have AutoCAD drawing. And one of the concerns that bring out is that how they can able to manage their current 2D CAD software and migrate into the 3D environment. So, for your information, SolidWorks actually have a features called 2D to 3D, which means in SolidWorks is actually able to read in 2D file. And from there, you can actually convert your 2D drawing into a 3D model. And with this, you can easily do the design changes and put into your machines or your component design. Okay. So in case uh, if you want to know more, you can always send your 2D drawing to us or you can contact our marketing. You can just forward your DWG file and we can actually do a benchmark for you. Huh? So guys, any questions? Other than that, uh, as mentioned in can sharing just now, that download library, okay, as, as we know machinery, you use a lot of purchase components. Purchase components in the sense of uh, you do not need to design it, but you want to have the actual size of design. Mm -hmm. So I put an example, let's say we are using some parts from uh, Festo, okay, you can always download the parts and SOLIDWORKS actually able to read in okay, able to read in any kind of 3D any kind of 3D in the sense of it's when you have a file like in the step file IGS or parasolids you can always read it in into SOLIDWORKS so that even though your customer or your partner using other 3D CAD software you will not have this kind of uh, issue or concern that whether your software can able to read in the file or not Okay, so I just shared two common questions that asked by our customer previously in the webinar. So for you, if you have further questions, you can always feel free to email to us. And of course, we are glad to answer most of your questions. Okay. So for your information, uh, us from uh, IMB, we provide uh, in terms of technical support to customers. Uh, we are 100% certified software experts where we are 24-7 ready to provide live technical support and our committed response time is 4 hours or less even though you are our prospect, you are, you are showing interest okay? as long as you have interest, you just forward your questions on the benchmark over we will respond to you within 4 hours so by general, 4 types of support that we provide to customers just for information um, telephone assistant, for example that you have questions but no more you call in and we have a standby help desk to answer questions 
um, email support is the widely used support that my customer prefer where when they have any issue or concern they will just email in and we shall respond within four hours remote access which is something like what we are doing now okay we remote our sharing to you at your place or at the same time you can remote and control your computer for sharing let's say you have a problem not sure how to draw certain parts we can do it for you by using remote access and of course our on-site support which is the most conventional way where our technical guy will do a schedule go to your place and solve your problem on the spot and at the same time give you additional sharing or trainings on SolidWorks so if you have any questions this is our contact information if you want to contact our senior applications engineer directly who is a certified SolidWorks expert you can see on the screen we have his Skype ID you can add Skype and through question to him or you can email to him at skfong at catcam.com.my so if you are located currently in Penang you can always visit our Penang office if you are in the southern regions you can always go to our JV office and of course if you are in Klang Valley we always welcome you to come and visit us and I can tour, tour you to our 3D printing uh, facilities so that you know more about the technology that we are offering so what next after this webinar you shall get an email or call from our marketing uh, representative and when they will get some feedback from you at the same time they will also share with you some ongoing event mainly event that is involved hands-on so let's say you want to personally learn the software for free okay you just respond to our marketing representative and they shall guide you how you can actually participate in this uh, activity okay. and at the end of this webinar a pop-up will appear uh, for a quick survey I urge everyone to join in this survey so that we know how we can improve in terms of our webinars facilities as well as uh, to know more about your expectations from us okay so with this we shall end our webinar here and thank you very much and again really appreciate that you all attend early and allow us to end our sharing on time so with this thank you very much and uh, bye bye